a very good evening to all the participants to this uh, three days national webinars organized by KSK College of Food Technology B. And uh, I feel immense uh, pleasure to introduce today's speaker, Honorable Dr. Rahul uh, Ranveer, sir. Uh, he is a today's uh, speaker. Unfortunately, uh, the session of our uh, 1st of October has been uh, interrupted due to the, some technical error. Today, we have uh, started this new session with the honorable uh, speakers. Uh, in shortly, I have to introduce him uh, a short introduction. He is uh, working as an associate professor in uh, Dr. Babasaheb Kokan Krishi Vidyapit Dapoli. He has work experienced in uh, different uh, colleges of food technology and technical colleges of last 15 years as assistant professor. He has uh, research contributions. He has three patents. He has also contributed his uh, publications of three books. He has uh, published his research papers, more than 50 research papers in national and international journal. He has guided uh, more than uh, 100 PG students and two PhD students. And lastly, he has completed for uh, five research projects funded by uh, UGC, DST, and MOFPI New Delhi. Uh, his shortly introduction is here. And now I would like to uh, over you to sir to please start the same to our participants. I request to Ranveer, sir. Please, sir. Yeah. Uh, good evening, everybody. I'm uh, audible. I'm audible. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Yeah. We can start now. Okay. So first of all, I will uh, thankful to the uh, KSK College of uh, Food Technology bid and congratulate them to nicely organizing this uh, one day, uh, three days webinar on emerging technologies. So uh, unfortunately, our first uh, uh, our session was on 1st uh, October, but uh, due to some technical problems, we are not able to conduct there. So we are conducting again. So uh, I will uh, speak on the advances in the food packaging. So, we will start with the traditional packaging. Uh, traditional packaging is, hello. Yes, sir. Yeah. I'm yes. visible now. Yes, sir. Yes, OK. No, uh, we can follow. Uh, the traditional packaging is nothing but the covering of uh, our packing of our food material in the different packaging material. So the main function or main motto behind is is the protection of our food material, protection against the microbial, protection against the sunlight, the oxygen, uh, gases, and some environmental conditions. What it, it will give, it will enhance or it will prolong the shelf life of the, our product. So the major role or major, uh, next slide please, next, uh, our major, principle of our package is to contain the product, means to hold the product and give the mechanical strain to the product. Then to communicate the whatever the requirements or what are the storage conditions, that has to be communicated by the uh, manufacturer to the end user. And that has been uh, communicated through this packaging material. Like if you consider the uh, gulab jamun making, if you consider the gulab jamun making, there are the instruction has been given on the package and that has been, if it is not followed properly, then your product will be not finished as, as we want or as we uh, expected there. So this, this instruction has been given to the food packaging, packaging materials. 
then next slide this packaging traditionally packaging we first we will uh, protection packaging uh, content and the packaging con uh, next slide now we will go now we will go for the advances packaging what are the advances packaging means these packaging materials has the has its own role that extension of the shelf life and protection of the product so even though we need some additional packaging material or we need some advances in this and that are the today we will discuss about the edible packaging material intelligent packaging material antimicrobial packaging material water soluble packaging material and self heating and self cooling material, packaging material so first of all we will discuss about the edible packaging materials so edible packaging material are nothing but it can be consumed or it can be taken inside the body with along with your food food products next food products these are made up of uh, this can be consumed like this first uh, first picture is there there's uh, ball water ball water bottle is nothing but the water inside the gelatin covering material this second uh, second material is the your uh, the cup coffee cup which can be after the drinking of the coffee we can consume it then your sausages sausages uh, these are made up of with uh, natural casein it and this is the last one is the uh, film which is developed our, by our uh, one of the our student and it is made up of the water which um, the waste water which is generated during the dehydration of the egg this egg fractions we have taken and we have developed this film for the our uh, edible pack edible packaging material it is made up of your protein fractions basically this is the uh, this is very transparent material and has the uh, tensile strength and better your uh, water holding uh, wtr properties next as you know this wax coating wax coating enhance the shelf life means if you deep your product within the within your uh, wax coating or uh, carnauba wax we can extend the shelf life of the product this is the one of the example which is uh, uh, capsicum which is coated with the uh, carnauba wax next uh, this is the another project which is uh, uh, taken over uh, carried out by our one of the student that uh, uh, coating of grapes or edible coating of the grapes generally what happens then uh, this grapes when we detach from the plants it will attack by the fungus and give the fungal growth there and it it will be damage the berries and uh, berries of the grapes when we uh, apply the chitosan on the grapes then uh, the attack of the fungal attack is reduced this can be applied on the uh, pre harvest as a pre harvest spray or after the detaching the plant uh, grapes berries from the uh, your plants this is about 0.5 to uh, 1% uh, your chitosan has been applied by the spraying to the grape uh, itself uh, some of the people has said, uh, was said that the uh, your chitosan is the origin of our uh, animal origin and it can be extracted from the cells of the your uh, fish cells so we have uh, tried with the uh, your gums gavar gum gavar gum along with the antioxidant uh, antioxidant natural antioxidant it has been applied to the uh, uh, grapes and it give the better shelf life or better uh, product quality of the grapes next this both uh, project has been uh, covered or carried out by our one of the uh, one is in uh, shivaji university and uh, another one is carried out in mit uh, pune 
so these are the basic uh, what are the raw material which can be used for the uh, your packaging material uh, you can use the protein you can use the starches you can use the uh, like uh, uh, protein like corn gluten then wheat gluten then uh, you can use the uh, starch like rice starch we can use then potato starch also we can use next along with this uh, some of the animal proteins can be also used for the um, uh, your uh, edible film like it is also we are discuss about the protein fractions of the eggs this is the uh, lysosomes are also used for the preparation of the edible packaging whereas collagen can be used then uh, whey protein concentrate whey protein isolate which can be used for the uh, preparation of the edible packaging then casein can be also used for the preparation of the uh, your edible package when we uh, discuss about the this application of this if you consider your uh, chicken leg piece if it is coated with the uh, collagen or coated with the casein the shelf life of the chicken leg has been en enhanced from the uh, it can be enhanced up to 9 months at refrigerated conditions uh, this study was carried out in the foreign countries and uh, also the bacon means uh, leg of your pig has been uh, stored along with the casein coating and the shelf life has been increased up to 6 to 9 months next please uh, there are various methods can be used for the application of this this is one of the method that dipping of your food material into the uh, edible packaging the, your material or coating material is in liquid form and you can just uh, dip your product and you will get the coating but here uh, what is the basic uh, disadvantage you will not get the uniform coating here you will get the patches uh, of the edible uh, coating which can be having the more uh, thickness or lower thickness then next uh, we can use the brushing method or brush the, your product with the uh, edible coating then you will get the edible coating there next this is the uh, somewhat we can say the encapsulation methods or we can say the uh, encapsulation methods uh, this is the foam which is used for the coating of your product and foam uh, made up of the your edible coating has been used and you will get the coated product there next uh, this is fluidized by dried which can be also used spray dried can be also used for the coating of the your uh, product basically emulsion of your uh, coating material or edible coating and core material that is your product has been passed through the fluidized bed and you will get the dried material which is having the coated product it is nothing but the method of the encapsulation of the product next next please uh, have you seen the, the, uh, these are the method for the preparation of the uh, your fruit chocolates uh, mazana is the brand of our uh, mapro which is uh, popularly sold in the uh, your mahabaleshwar and y region and it is generally prepared with the, your uh, this type of the coating material and this coating this type of coating is generally followed for the uh, your pharmaceutical products for the coating of the tablets and uh, other products so here what what will the um, our application means food application is you just put the, your product inside this uh, coated uh, coating pans and spray the your outer covering or wall material through the jet pumps so you will get the uniform coating material there next next please 
this is nothing but the spraying of your product spraying with the uh, your coating material uh, to the product next what is the basic disadvantage behind this this is the if you consider your uh, traditional packaging material this is little bit the costlier than the, your traditional packaging material and you have to coat individual packaging a uh, individual food material with the edible coating along with this if you consider its flavor but uh, it will give the some off flavor after some storage day but along with this there are certain advantages also there uh, you will get the improved quality of the uh, your nutrition like if you uh, using the protein protein based uh, edible coating material you will get the additional protein uh, uh, content there then if you use the uh, starch or that that will be enhance the your quality of the product if along with this this can be used as a carrier material for the antioxidant and antimicrobial packaging for the food products that are the some of the benefits of the edible packaging material. now we will move to the next uh, topic next intelligent packaging as you know the basic uh, basic uh, role or basic role of the packaging material is the protection then communication and the protection communication convenience and contents so this is smart packaging or intelligent packaging it comes under the communication or communication roles so next these are the some of the uh, some of the indicators or observers can be uh, continuously used in the food packaging the oxygen absorbent oxygen absorbent is based on the iron base and uh, mainly iron uh, oxides are used for the uh, absorption of the uh, oxygen it will used for to reduce the oxygen level in the pack, packed food uh, then uh, CO2 absorbent. This is used uh, again. It is uh, iron based or calcium hydroxide can be used or activated carbon can be used for the uh, to absorb the CO2. In uh, modified atmospheric packaging or uh, controlled atmospheric packaging, this this can be used. Then freshness indicator or microbial spoilage indicator. This can be used uh, for the perishable food such as meat, fish, egg. Then this is the basic uh, principle or reagents which is used in this method is organic acids, uh, then uh, some of the antioxidant, silver zeolites, and uh, some dyes can be used for this freshness indicator. Then flavor absorbent, uh, cellulose triacetate can be used, and then activated carbon clay zeolites can be used. These are used for the uh, snack food or dairy powder products then pathogen indicator there is various uh, chemicals can be used for the perishable foods such as meat fish and uh, egg uh, next please now uh, there are some of the tools which can be used for these intelligent packaging that is quality or freshness indicator then time temperature indicator gas indicator barcode RFID indicator and biosensors. Next, please. Uh, basically, uh, what is our demand? Miss consumer demand is the packaging material or the manufacturer should tell about the quality of the product. So, it is not possible to tell the everyone to see the, uh, to tell about the freshness of the product. Uh, what we will do, we will see the manufacturing date or expiry date of the packaging material. In rare cases, means uh, everyone goes to the uh, your malls or supermarket and pick up the pouches. Uh, very few consumers or very few our aware people can uh, see the manufacturing date and pick up the product. So most of the products has been there, which is coming towards the uh, your expiry date. 
so to avoid this if you put a some sticker there which can be easily seen and which can be indicate that your product is fresh or it has been stored for the longer period so we have also tried for this uh, this type of freshness indicator and uh, next please next slide uh, freshness indicator so as you know the egg shell egg means egg along with the shell has been uh, consumed very widely for the uh, by the people uh, whatever the uh, traditional method for the to detect the freshness or to detect the uh, egg freshness is dipping into the water if it is float then your product will be spoiled floating means what happen it will this uh, air cell within the egg has been increased day by day this is one of the pictures showing that the uh, air cell increasing day by day in the product or in egg <clears throat> by uh, in industrial scale or where the egg has been stored it can be seen through the uh, candling of your egg candling is nothing but the exposing your egg to the high intensity high intense light so in another picture uh, if you see you will you are you can able to see the internal product of your uh, egg so some cases what what will happen the rotten egg means it is uh, having the uh, fungus fungal growth there and that can be not that cannot be easily detectable with the candling additionally you will find that there there are mishaps or uh, improper handling it will be damage to uh, damage can be occurred to the egg and egg, egg can be uh, egg shell can be broken and your product will be get spill there so to avoid this we think about this and we we, uh, we have developed some uh, sticker for the egg next if you see uh, some common uh, bacterial growth can be occur there and uh, if you uh, if you remember in around 7th uh, or 8th class you will able to conduct um, you may be conduct this uh, experiment that the after the means uh, h2s gas can be released after the rotting or after the spoilage of the egg this is this can be covered in the 7th or 8th class of your and this h2s gas will be detectable with this this type of uh, indicator which is uh, developed by us uh, this is nothing but the your uh, one uh, cellulose paper will be there then cellulose paper will be covered with the alginate plus uh, specific dye and uh, this is allowed to dry and calcium chloride uh, has been applied to this uh, paper uh, to make them water repellent and after this you will find this indicator with the bluish uh, color if you keep on your uh, stick on your uh, upper portion of your egg after the uh, and along with that we have measured the h2s gas level which is released during the storage so after seventh day or after seventh day onwards uh, we will find the h2s gas level and there uh, 3 ppm has been released uh, in uh, seventh day and afterwards then uh, uh, if you go for the 14 days, 14 days of the uh, stored egg, you will find 25 ppm of the H2S gas can be released uh, during the storage. And this uh, H2S gas has been monitored uh, continuously for up to the uh, spoilage of the egg. Uh, if you consider this spoilage, it will start, this spoilage will uh, start 
after the seventh day of the room temperature storage, not in the cold storage, after the, uh, in the room temperature storage, and the S2S level is above 5 ppm. Our whatever the indicator we have um, developed, it is having the capacity to judge or to detect the H2S level up to 3 ppm, means minimum 3 ppm H2S gas. So after the uh, means after the your uh, storage period has been covered, it has been the color has been changed after this uh, our uh, uh, indicator. Next, please. Then time temperature uh, indicators comes into the picture. This this is nothing but the uh, it has been used for the uh, your frozen food. Uh, it will indicate that uh, the period of your product which is exposed to the sunlight. Next, it it can be exposed to the sunlight or which can be your product has been uh, kept outside the low temperature. Next, please. These are the some of the indicators which is uh, used by the foreign countries for the detection of the your uh, indication of the your product which is stored under the frozen conditions. Is, uh, these are the basically made up of the uh, dyes along with the uh, your enzymes. After the exposing to the sunlight or UV rays, it can be uh, the color of these dyes can be changed from the different colors are there. As per the convenient, uh, this can be developed. Next. Then this RFID tags has been uh, used for the tracing of your product. It can be used for the This can be used for the your uh, product, which which will give the information about the which will give the information about the batch code, then your product name, product quality, uh, product uh, manufacturing date. This data has been saved in the chip, or we can say the very small chip, is, which is uh, uh, which is along with your product. And it will give the product quality, product traceability. What what is the storage condition along with the mist uh, during transportation? What are the uh, storage condition has been used? What is the uh, basically your product traceability has been uh, carried out with this RFID tags? Whereas uh, you can see the uh, one of the barcode will be there. Next slide. Uh, barcode will be there. Barcode is nothing but uh, it will give the information about the first half. There are two parts. If you uh, closely see it, there are two parts of your uh, barcodes. First part is give the information about the manufacturing details, and second part give the information about the product details. Means product details means the what is the uh, product pack size, what is the um, uh, your uh, price, what is the uh, your uh, product name common name and first half will be give the about the manufacturing address manufacturing details that that would be there uh, next slide please these are the basically uh, rfid tags are having two types the self indicating which is having the battery uh, inside that and uh, which will give generate the data and send that data through the satellite to the server and another one we have to scan it and use for the uh, uh, that scan has been give the data about the your product next then gas indicator this is basically uh, same has been used uh, as we have developed for the egg and this is nothing but the, the dye is used for the indicating of uh, your gas release there are several indicators are there in the market, uh, which will give the uh, ethylene uh, indicator, then uh, CO2 indicator, oxygen indicators are there, which is uh, after the, uh, this is generally used for the MAP and uh, modified atmosphere packaging and controlled atmosphere packaging. 
but next please and these are the some of the available uh, indicators which can be changed its color from the pink to the blue and which generally uh, this is uh, specifically uh, for the oxygen indicators next please this is biosensors biosensors are uh, nothing but the this is uh, if you see our food material it is made up of uh, next uh, <clears throat> uh this is basically on the basis of the nucleic acid present in the uh, your product this this can be converted into the signal form and this signals can be used for the uh, conversion of this signals has been used for the generation of the data next please then antimicrobial packaging antimicrobial packaging is nothing but the uh, if you see the traditional packaging uh, traditional preservative uh, we generally use the sodium benzoate uh, then propionate uh, then we can say the organic acids as a preservative what is its function its function is to kill or reduce the microorganism present in the product along with the product we we use to consume this uh, your antimicrobial agents but there are certain disadvantages to consume this uh, antimicrobial preservatives like if you consume uh, excess amount of uh, your uh, citrates you will find the, some uh, skin discoloration will be there likewise there are uh, certain disadvantages and uh, there are having the, some uh, limitations by the fda for this uh, preservative also so if you put your antimicrobial agent in the package or along with the package having the very low quantity then it will serve the preservative uh, preservative role because after the processing or after the packaging the major growth will be occur major growth will be occur on the surface of your product and this surface is nearer to the, your primary packaging material and this can be carried out this can be re reduced if you uh, put your antimicrobial packaging agent in the package so there are several antimicrobial uh, agents can be used for the packaging material like if you see the natural antimicrobial agent like clove is there which can be used for the agent always be there then uh, your cinnamon can be used then uh, your turmeric can be used this active component will used as is uh, active component from this natural resources can be used for the uh, antimicrobial agent and this can be used for the development of the antimicrobial packaging next please there are certain four uh, different types next hello hello just a second next, please uh, yes sir. Again, there are. Uh, if you consider one layer packaging, then your product will uh, means your antimicrobial uh, agent will be migrate to the food product and mobilize to the food product, and it will comes to the your surface of the product, and it will reduce the microbial growth. In two layer uh, packaging material, the antimicrobial packaging will be in the outer layer. and it will be migrate to us the product next press the uh, then if you consider the head space of your product then the your product same same phenomena will be there and it will be liberated uh, to the head space and then deposited to the product next then self heating and self cooling packaging material this is uh, nowadays it is 
having the demand uh, for the self cooling and self heating uh, pouches. Uh, if you consider self uh, heating pouches, then self heating is nothing but you can you can put a uh, two uh, uh, mixture means two uh, product separately. Uh, that is nothing but your lime or uh, we can say the calcium oxide. Calcium oxide in with if you uh, see the reaction with the calcium oxide with the water, it will generate the heat. And this heat can be used for the uh, heating of your product. Uh, in case of your, uh, if you see the your noodles, we need very small amount of heat to cook it. It is instant cooked. It is already uh, steamed noodles will be there. And uh, miss whatever the Maggie will be there, then uh, top ones are there. There are several brands are there, which is instant noodles are there in the market, which needs very small amount of heat for the cooking. And this can be served calcium oxide plus water. This reaction can generate the heat and it can be served for the heating of your product. Next, please. These are the some of the uh, examples. Uh, in the market self heating uh, product in the market this is nothing but the your uh, thermos type of uh, can will be developed and inside this uh, in water and calcium oxides there is some barrier has been prepared if you want to heat it then remove that barrier manually and this two mixture our calcium oxide and uh, calcium chloride and lime will react or lime will be react with the water and it will generate the heat See, in same case uh, in self cooling uh, instead of the your uh, next please instead of your uh, calcium oxide these this ammonium nitride and salt water has been used for this self cooling it will give the 15 degree centigrade means low temperature which is generally required for our uh, soft drink case uh, soft drinks within the three to two two to three minutes for the uh, cooling of your cans uh, this is uh, all about the some of the concept which is uh, having uh, used or to discuss about the advances in the food packaging material now i request uh, organizer to take a few questions if any yes sir this is uh, there is some questions for uh, the sessions can we yeah no problem we can see. there is first question is uh, is this indicator for freshness of egg is yeah. available in market no it is uh, just developed by us and uh, we have filed the patent on this and it will be available very soon in the market okay the second question is there is there a, a packaging material is available for that instant maggi suggested that uh, the uh, for heating in purpose? india it, in India, it is not there, but uh, if you search on the Google uh, or Google it, you will find the several packaging material available there. And we are trying to develop such a packaging material in our lab for the instant, uh, we can say the khichdi, which is uh, distributed for the school children. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, some of last question. One of the question is also here. Uh, what type? indicators are available uh, into the market for the packaging purpose uh, this is a time temperature indicators are there uh, available in the market in Indian market also we can find this this is the generally used for the export of the meat and meat products okay thank you the questions are uh, over sir uh, one of the okay. questions from my side is also, sir. No, Nowadays, no we have seen in market a lot of chemicals and uh, other kind of uh, um, preservatives are used for preservation of foods. So, yes. of, uh, 
packaging material you suggest to the farmer to protect their product uh, like fruits and vegetables and uh, other things this edible packaging can serve like uh, we have conducted the one of the experiment that we harvest the uh, uh, spraying of edible packaging material on the grapes uh, that will be served to extend the shelf life means uh, if you uh, put your uh, means keep uh, your fresh table uh, uh, grapes it uh, generally the shelf life is 7 to 8 days and if you uh, Spray this edible pack, edible coating on this uh, your uh, grapes along with the antioxidant. It shelf life has been extended, and it's uh, means uh, the appearance of your grapes will be very good. And this was uh, this project was conducted in our uh, recent la- recently in our lab. Thank you, sir. Uh... i am uh, very much thankful to you sir by uh, giving this uh, uh, outstanding knowledge to our uh, participants and students about the to packaging and uh, intelligent packaging different technology for packaging purposes that is uh, uh, rfid and uh, gas indicator sensors antimicrobial packaging and other things it is a uh, huge knowledge about the recent packaging technology and uh, i will say it is definitely useful to our participants and students in their future for uh, a better uh, production and packaging uh, scenario so now uh, at the last uh, i would like to end over the session uh, to our principal to take a vote of thanks to all the participants and dignitaries and also speakers Uh, Dr. Zubair sir. Your mic is mute sir. Please uh, please unmute your mic. Hello? Okay. Yes sir. Yes. Uh National Webinar Series 2020. Good evening to all participants and viewers. Today is conducted last day of the national webinar series which is organized by so ksk alias kaku college of food technology bid on behalf of shri anand krishi vikas pratishthan i am very much thankful to all speakers and congratulate to the organizing team member organizing team member and also thanks to all participant to attend this webinar series and make it successful this this third third day national webinar series which is held during the october 1st to 3rd 2020 through this webinar all the participants and student got knowledge from the different agricultural and technical university faculty members and also from private sector private sectors consultant and expertise trainer in ha sccp postage iso etc i would like to special thank to honorable dr rc ranveer sir associate professor and dr iran irana uchad udachan assistant professor department of technology kolhapur and mr satish borkhade business development manager and mr gajanan kalyane founder at food cognis pune and ms sumedha jalgaonkar consultant in these three days national live webinar series all series all you have given a great knowledge new ideas through your technical session to all participants and student to build a to build a their career in the sector of food processing and technology i am pleased to convey my thanks to all speakers and also the participants who have attended these three days national webinar series on emerging opportunities in food processing sector i wish all the best of luck to all participants and viewer thank you to all thank you sir uh, thank you. i take this opportunity to 
especially express my deep regards to Dr. G. B. Sawunke for always encouraging us and uh, providing opportunities to take this kind of events and sessions to for our uh, uh, participants and students also. Uh, lastly, my deep sense of appreciations and to all the participants who have choose to be uh, live with us to all these webinar sessions and uh, uh, attended uh, webinars, webinars uh, with a great enthusiasm and uh, made it successfully event. Uh, I would like to thank all the participants and all the speakers and uh, with the uh, permission of our uh, uh, principal sir, uh, I would say thank here, the much. session is end here and uh, thanks to all of you. Thank you so much and uh, have a good, have a nice day. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.